before the crowd gets too big. So we want to talk about the ZL1 today as much as we can. Um, this is uh, the culmination of technology and performance all into one Camaro. And like I said downstairs, we were able to uh, take over segment leadership from Mustang with just a coupe. And Thursday we started shipping the convertibles to customers. But when this comes out, it's going to put a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, fear into our competitors. This is our LSA supercharged 6.2 meter. Uh, it uses a 6-gen uh, Eaton supercharger. It's up the road, I tell you. Um, the uh, wheels and tires are larger. They're 285, 35R20s in the front on 10 inch wheels, and 305, 35R20s on 11 inch wheels in the rear. You see, the, they're designed for grip. Somebody asked downstairs about the design of this tire. Uh, this is specifically designed, these are the uh, F1 Goodyear Cup tires. Um, specifically designed for grip on the track as well as uh, not compromising the ride around town. Probably the biggest engineering marvel of this car is the, uh, the way we change the exterior to be uh, both form and function. If you notice the grill, the front fascia kind of looks like Bumblebee, right? Kind of had this in mind for a while. But it's got a taller, lower grill. And you see the uh, functional hood extractors in the hood. This is an aluminum hood with a carbon fiber insert. And these extractors, uh, they work with the lower grill to pass the cool air through. So the effect is twofold. Number one is to help uh, pull air and suck air through so you keep the uh, engine temperatures as low as possible because an engine that's lower temperature is more efficient and uh, you get maximum horsepower out of a cooler engine than a hot one. Secondly, the uh, aerodynamics of this car are specifically tuned so the car creates downforce. And if you're a performance enthusiast, you know the ultimate goal for any race team is to create downforce so the car sucks to the road. And then you add that to the grip of these tires. And uh, you know, when we talk about the specs on this at some point in the future, you'll be amazed at the uh, max lateral acceleration and lap times this thing will do. Now the front split you see has been redesigned. Uh, this vehicle sits approximately seven millimeters lower uh, stance than the SS that it, that it started from. But the front splitter works in concert with this uniquely designed for the ZL1 rear spoiler so that, again, the aerodynamics and you add into that the rocker panels that have been redesigned. Uh, where's my stone chip friend earlier today? <laughs> these rockers, we did listen. Uh, these rockers have been also designed to try to minimize the stone throw from these big meaty tires. But the front splitter, the rocker design, and the rear wing spoiler work together to uh, aerodynamically to create the downforce required to really suck the car down to the track. So on the inside, we talked about this this morning, it's, um, we've got our uh, suede package on this particular vehicle. We do have a new steering wheel. It's, it's got a smaller diameter. Uh, you'll feel that the car is more nimble just by the smaller wheel diameter. But we also uh, changed it to have a flat bottom. And uh, for those of you that have done any kind of performance driving in your LS3s, and you... Um, okay, thank you. For those of you that... Um, have been doing performance type driving in your LS3s and you like the heel and toe, a flat bottom wheel gives you more knee clearance for heel and toe driving. Um, plus it's very race enthusiast uh, type uh, styling on the wheel. It is suede wrapped, 
We have a suede wrapped uh, short throw shifter that we've designed. It's a GM short throw. Um, and then the leather treatment on the, the suede leather treatment on the seats. You also see that we've added a, uh, a, a material insert to the instrument panel. Uh, you'll see that as we go through the rest of the life cycle of the Camaro is more opportunity to improve the styling uh, that's been such a hit so far. But, but that's a, another step in improving the interior execution. Uh, we currently are offering, currently our plan is to offer this in this interior that you see here. Uh, it's basically all black thread stitching in a mix of black leather, black vinyl, and um, black suede. Um, one of the other things on this car, two of the other things, from a technology standpoint, I mentioned the um, 6th Gen Eaton Supercharger. Um, for the first time, this Camaro will also introduce uh, EPS. Um, that also helps maximize the engine horsepower for the performance. Uh, you don't have the separate pump for a power steering pump coming off the accessory drive. So EPS, it's the next generation General Motors is going to introduce of, uh, electronic power steering. And then uh, the other te technical marvel is uh, this has the, uh, our, this will introduce the next generation of uh, magnetic ride control or MR ride control. Uh, the, the Corvette and the CTS V with MR. Uh, this will be the next generation of that. So we've taken even that technology a step farther and I'm proud to say that we're going to introduce that on, right, on the ZL1. So um, that's kind of a walk around. I hope you were able to hear it well enough. Um, where's John? I don't know if we're doing any Q&A out here. Okay, I, I can take questions if you'd like, if, if I'm able to answer them. Uh, good question. Um, there is another difference in this from the uh, from the SS and the RS with the uh, four gauge pack in the center console. We add boost to the uh, gauge pack, so you'll get you'll be able to read that out uh, not only on the uh, four pack gauges but also on the um, HUD display. The HUD will uh, will add some features and function that you don't have on the current HUD today on the Camaro. Good question. Yeah. Okay, good point. So, I'll give you a chance to look inside here. 